It's going to be Kim Ming Jun. Straight away, Jung on the attack. She's been the key to that play this week. Very strong from the back. Well, her partner Kim, very tactical, very clever at the net. As you see, a nice wee touch. One point also, both partnerships getting their first point on the board. Settle the nerves, a big day for them, of course. Just going wide, point for point in the early stages. Kim with the serve, flat serve. Something you see a lot of in doubles, of course, not allowing your opponents to get on the attack early. Flat drives, forcing them to the back. Just paying the patience game, the clever players, the Koreans, a lot of fitness. Well, speaking of fitness, these girls have spent a lot of time on the court throughout this week. In fact, the combination of Ha Jung Yun and Kim Min Jung have spent a total of 513 minutes on the court here in Basel. Of course, both girls also taking part in the mixed doubles. Kim Min Jung teaming up with Yo Yong Seung. Of course, Yo Yong Seung we're going to see in the men's final later on today, though. Lost out in the second round. Not disappointed with that effort. Well, Ha Jung Yun has a mixed doubles ranking of number five in the world with Ko Seung Hyun. But they didn't play together here this week. They've actually teamed up with Lee Yong Dae and with the number eight seeds, but. Unfortunately, lost out yesterday to the Danes. So a good start here for Ha Jung Yun and Kim Min Jung. An early four-point lead. This is great stuff for them. This will settle the nerves for sure. Just a bit of a problem there reading the serve, Kim. Coming forward. few early errors coming from Kim Hyana and Jung Kyun Yun. They'll be looking to settle that as we see an error on the serve. Disappointment coming from Ha Jung Yun. Easy point being gifted across the net. You can't afford that in the final. And as I say that, well, Kim repeats the dose from the other end. So a little bit of nerves early on as we see a change of approach when it comes to the serve. A deeper serve this time in the service box. I mentioned already we're going to see three all korean finals here today the koreans well they really have made basel their second home in fact they stay adjacent to the stadium here saint jacob's hallet they're here first thing in the morning first to train very hard workers of course look at this lead now 10 points to four incredible start both girls Bit of miscommunication again from Jung and Kim. And at the halfway mark, well, it's one-way traffic, really. Ha and Kim go ahead by 11 points to four. Just haven't seen the understanding that we've come to expect from Kim Hyana and Jung Kyun Yun. They've worked extremely well. Communication has been top-notch. They really have known what each other's going to do they have a plan and they've executed it extremely well all week long just struggling to find their rhythm at the moment because a long way to go a little bit of luck taking the net and an easy follow-up so if we have a look at the run to the final four these two pairings well for Ha and Kim first round they came up against the Dutch couple of Piek and Tebeling and it was a tough battle. They dropped the opening game 19-21, but turned it around 21-10, 21-11. So it took a while for them to get 
into their room. That match taking 38 minutes. Well, in the second round, they came up against the number three seedings from Singapore, Sari and Yo. And well, taking it out, as Dre says, 21-17, 21-12. That was a great effort, knocking out the number three seeds. Ranked a lot higher in the world, but it didn't phase them at all. They controlled it right from the outset. Well, in the quarterfinals, they dispatched of another seeded pairing, Matsuo and Naito from Japan. And again, straight sets, 26-24, 21-13, but it really was an intriguing match, very tight indeed, taking 51 minutes for those two games. Well, yesterday we saw them dispatch of another seeded pairing, the number five, Pedersen and Rita Jewel from Denmark. Of course, the Danes with a wealth of experience, those two girls, but no match again for Ha and Kim. Straight sets, 21-13, 21-19 to book their place into today's final. They've spent in the women's doubles competition 160 minutes on the court. Some 13 minutes less than their opponents in this match. And well, they're off to an extremely good start here. Still a six-point lead, 13 points to seven. Kim with the serve. Better return this time from uh, Kim, her opponent. Oh, just fire, falling inside the line. Really controlling the shuttle early on in this match. Again, attacking that center of the court. Trying to cause a little bit of confusion. Jung working hard at the back. Kim just waiting the pounce up front, but she's not going to get a chance. That one going long from Jung. And they continue to steam on here. The girls in blue. Xia Jung Yun and Kim Min Jung. Making this look very easy at the moment in this women's doubles final. Coming to you live from the St. Jacob's Hull. This is a better rally. A lot of variation. Ha ah, coming forward there, doing a lot of work. Kim at the back. Kim to Kim on that right hand side of the court. Well, what a rally this is. Working their way to the right. A lot of variation. Patience game, waiting for the error. Oh, this is marvellous stuff, and the error finally comes. Kim sending the shuttle straight into the net. And the crowd here in Basel appreciating the skills on display. 16 points to 7. What a lead now, 9 points. This has been a great service display coming from Kim Min Jung. And again, well, pinpoint accuracy. The pairing of Kim and Jung struggling on the return of serve at the moment. This one pushed wide, though. So can they stop this run now? The girls in yellow, Kim Ha Na and Jung Kyun Yun, really haven't had a look in this final so far. And again, unable to string together a run of points. The unforced errors continuing to pile up. Two points away now from wrapping up this opening game. It's been impressive stuff. So game point now, in fact, 12 game points. What a start this has been. Well, not just yet. The error coming from the back. Kim Min Jung just looking to drop it over the net, take the pace off the shuttle. Just couldn't get enough on it in the end. Kim Han Na with the serve. Uh, 
Well, two straight points. It's been a long time since the girls in yellow have been able to string together a run of points. Can we see a big fight back here? Well, it's a long wait. 10-20 now. Still match point. Should say game point. Forcing it to the back. Unleashing his Kim from the back. Oh, great shot. That is fantastic. Jung Kyun Yun. We've seen quite a few errors from her early on, but that is top class. Coming across the body. Right-handed player, of course, using the angle. Well, just struggling to finish this off at the moment. Hart and Kim allowing their fellow countrywoman to get a sniff into this opening game. Still well and truly in the driver's seat, and as I say that, another one goes long. So, the opening game in the women's uh, doubles final made to look all too easy, really, in the end. Hart Jung Yun and Kim Min Jung wrapping it up in just 10 minutes. They looked very confident indeed. They applied their pressure right from the outset. And well, to be fair, Kim Ha Na and Jung Kyun Yun showing a little bit of nerves out there on the center court at the moment. Of course, both girls, both pairs, I should say, being coached by the same coach, national team coach. And I can see him up at the back of the stand. He must have mixed feelings for this match. Not going down there, so a quick turnover between games. And the question now is, can Kim and Jung turn this around? Played a lot of defensive, and to be fair, played a lot of unforced errors, and they tried to force things when it really wasn't required. We need to show a little bit more patience here. If we look at the run to this final for Kim and Jung, well, the first round, just like their opponents, they came up against the Dutch couple, Jonathan and Van Door de Malen. And they took that out 21-15, 21-12 in just 29 minutes. The second round, they came up against the Swedish pairing, Lennartsen and Winnebag. And again, straight sets, 21-12, 21-11. Well, in the quarterfinals, it was a tougher opposition from Taipei Haisa, Pai Chin and Wang Pai Rong. It was the first time they went to three sets, 21-11. They dropped the second game, 17-21. Well, wrapped it up in the final game, 21-18 and 55 minutes. Well, yesterday, of course, on the centre court, we saw them come up against the number two seeds from Indonesia, Polly and Jahari. And another tight, tight battle. One hour and three minutes, that semi-final. 21-14, 10, 21 21-13, and well, you've got to say, Jung and Kim really did switch off in that second game, but well, they rectified it in the decider and took control right from the outset. And they need to fight back here. They're on the back foot, but it's a better start to game number two. And as I say that, Ha and Kim get their first point on the board. Well, as mentioned, this combination of Kim and Jung is a new combination. Kim Ha Na usually teaming up with M Chai Won, who have a world ranking of 67, while Jung Kyun Yun has a doubles ranking of number 27 with Ha Jung Yun, who of course is on the other side of the court. So these two players know each other extremely well. It must be extremely strange for them to be facing each other. And those two have a ranking of number 27 in the world. So try new things out, Team Korea. And it seems to be working at the moment. They've demolished all the opposition that stood in their way this week. It's been a lot better start to the second game for the girls in yellow. Showing a lot more patience. Playing the percentages a lot better, forcing their opponents to the back. Flat drive on the defensive now, though. Oh, they get themselves out of trouble. Oh, yes, what a rally. Reactions, top class, super fast actions. 
made close to the net. Coming from Ha Jung Yun. Gets the winner in the end. And they take the lead. Three points to two. And she will have the serve. Not this time, though. Bit of play coming from Kim Ha Na. She's a clever player at the net. And of course, this is finals day of the Wilson Swiss Open 2011. Coming to you live from the St. Jacobs Halle here in Basel. And once again, the organisers have put on a top class event. As mentioned, a little bit of disappointment with the downgrade from the BWF, but saying that, still competition is great and very good numbers. A lot of top 10 players have taken part here this week. At the conclusion of this women's doubles final, we'll have the women's singles final. The number 19 ranked player in the world, another Korean, Sung Jae Hyun, and she'll be taking on the Indian number two seed, Sena Newell from India. Third final of the day will be the men's doubles. Jung Jae Sung and Lee Yong Dai. The number three seeds from Korea taking on their fellow countrymen. The number two seeds, Ko Sung Hyun and Yo Yon Seung. And the fourth final will, of course, will be the men's singles final. Park Seung Hyun, the number four seed from Korea taking on fellow countryman Lee Hyun Il, who's continuing his rise up the rankings after his retirement and coming back last year bronze medalist at the Olympics in 2008 in Beijing, of course, former world number one, former winner here, trying to pick up his second title. Well, to conclude finals day here in Basel, it will be the mixed doubles final, and I'm sure it's going to be a lot of interest here for the locals, an all-European affair. The Danes, number four seeds, Joachim Fischer-Nelson and Christina Pedersen taking on Nathan Robertson and Jenny Warwick, the number two seeds. Sure to be an interesting mixed doubles final. What a great way to wrap up what has been a great competition here. So Kim Hana and Jung Kyun Yun, they can't afford to fall behind early here again. That was the problem in that opening set. Slow start and well, it's very hard to come back. Just going wide. It was a clever wee touch from Kim Min Jung, just forcing it wide off that right hand back end. <laughs> That's been the story so far for Kim Hyuna and Jung Kyun Yun. They work hard to get the point, but on the serve, they just really haven't been able to apply the pressure. They have only been able to string together two points in a row on two occasions so far in this match. That's where you've got to give a lot of credit to their opponents as we see a marvellous shot. They need more of that. Flat-footed in the end, the girls in blue. And we see it in the replay, just going over the net. Pinpoint accuracy. Couldn't play that any more better. So the winners at the end of the day, well, besides winning the, the trophy and then the gold medal, they'll walk away with a check of 29,625 American dollars. Not a bad payday, really. But of course, the all-important points, and they'll receive 7,000 points towards their women's doubles rankings, which will go a long way, of course. Start of what is going to be a big year for badminton. New structure, 11 tournaments in the Grand Prix Gold. Big increase from last year. A little bit of a downsizing on the Super Series. So halfway mark once again. It's the girls in blue in control. Just like we saw in that opening game. And well, back up against the wall now for Ha Jung Yun and Kim Ming Jung. Trailing by four and they kind of really need to, to rediscover the form that has got them to the stage here this week. So 
So after the halfway point, Ha Jung Yun to serve the 23 year old. Both girls looking very similar out there, both having their left knee strapped with the blue tape. If you're finding it hard to distinguish between the two, Ha with the shuttle now with the shorter here. Well, Kim Ming Jun behind her with the longer here. Jung Kyun Yun doing all the work at the back. Now it's Kim's turn. Trying to pick it up down low. Just above ankle level, picking it almost off the ground. Couldn't get the trajectory though, and another point to their opponents. Continuing to steam on here, 13 points to seven. Ah. Oh, well, a poor serve from Hart. She's been ex serving extremely well so far in this match. Just a little lapse of concentration. Flat backhand serve from Kim. Oh yes, touch of class again. And you see Kim and Jung again, unable to string together points. Ha ah, and Kim, wow, they've been in the driver's seat right from the outset. Well, oh, quick to pounce, set up nicely above the net. A poor return from the back from Kim. And her namesake, well, she was quick to pounce. Sixteen points to eight. Just a matter of time now. They need a miracle. The girls in yellow. Kim Ha Na and Jung Kyun Yun. Continuing to force it to the back. Playing the patience game. Waiting for their chance to pounce. Good use of angle. Again to that left hand side. Looking to come, open up, go from left to right. Just couldn't find the angle in the end. Disappointment on the face of Kim Min Jung. She played extremely well in this match. Well, she's been a busy girl. 213 minutes she's been on the court. And both the women's doubles and mixed doubles, of course. Well, her partner, she's been on the court even longer. 300 minutes coming into this match. I would have thought, well... When you look at the amount of time these two parents have spent on the court, you would have thought the girls in blue would be rather tired, but well, they've come out here showing that they're extremely fit girls. Of course, the Koreans work very hard on their fitness. Really is a big aspect of the game of badminton. Of stance, Hart and Kim, but just force, forcing it to the left. Well, we've seen nine net winners in this game so far from Hart and Kim. It's been their strength in this match. That one going well under, not reading it at all. That's been the problem, inconsistency, the unforced errors, and well, seven point lead now, three points away from claiming the title. Looking to wrap this up, the girls in blue, refusing to lie down though, the combination of Kim Hyana and Jung Kyun Yun. Youngsters, new combination, finding their feet. Done extremely well this week, though. This is good play. Yeah. Uh, having to work very hard in that rally, and they earn the point. 
Trailing by six now. Kim Hana with the serve. They need a good run here. They need to build some momentum. Otherwise, this final is done and dusted. Patience paying off once again. Hart and Kim, wow, they've been extraordinary. Discipline has been top class. Two points away now, 19 points to 12. Kim Min Jung with the serve again on the money. The mix up there stays alive though on the attack. Wow, what a rally! Great foot movement from Kim, but not enough in the end. And that brings up match point now. What a display this has been from Ha Jung Yun and Kim Ming Jung. Showing what a little bit of experience have as a duo. Ranked number 28 in the world. Now well, they saved one match point. <laughs> but to be fair, they need to pull a miracle out of the hat. Good understanding again. There it is. The women's doubles final has gone to Ha Jung-yun and Kim Min-jung.